Hi, today we'll show you some examples of how I've been using the Printing Organizer Split Planner in the neutral version, so that's here. And let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna show you my cover page. So I tap on this top left corner, it's gonna bring me here from any page in the planner. And as you can see, I have just added some widgets and some stickers with a couple of messages. And everything that you see here is included in the downloads when you order this planner as bonus elements. So you will get access to covers and widgets and stickers. I'm gonna start by showing you the non-dated pages in my planner, so the ones that are not calendars. So I'm gonna activate my links and I'm gonna tap on this star icon, which takes me to my weekly routine page. Now I do have a full video showing every single detail and feature of this planner. I'm gonna link it below if you want to check it out. Here I'm showing you how I actually enter the information on the pages. If you watch that video, you'll know that these gray circles are actually buttons that will take you to a blank customizable page. So I used this dashboard as a way to track my fitness routine. I also added some information about the nutrition plan that I want to follow and here I have my routine of exercise for every day of the week. Now, if I want to have more information because it only says the two activities, but it doesn't give any details, I can tap on the button and it will take me to a larger page where I can add all of the details that I need. Next, I'm gonna move on to my following button here, which is gonna take me to my master list. I've used this list to keep track of my latest release, which is the release of the split planner. So here I have a list of the things I needed to do, the videos that I needed to create, all of the products, etc. Next, I'm gonna tap on my Princeton Organizer split button here, which takes me to the Princeton Organizer dashboard. This is boxes that are also linked to other pages in case that you need more space. For example, I'm gonna tap here. So here, for example, I'm tracking all of the extra elements included with the product. Now I have a few extra sections that are linked from anywhere in the planner. Those are these buttons. And here I have really random things. For example, the first page is just some ideas on a diet that I wanted to follow. Then I have my packing list because I went on a trip recently. Having this list pre-made is really helpful. I can just get back here and change the things that I need for my following trip. Now I want to point out too that once you order this planner, you will get access to all of these inserts. This is just an extra insert that I added myself. Again, this is a travel itinerary and this is something that you will be able to download so you can fill your pages however you like. For example, here I still have space to add any inserts or any information that I want. I could go to my inserts gallery and add any of those here. So those are the pages that are not for planning, meaning there's no date on those pages. But now I'm ready to show you the calendars in my planner. So the first one is my yearly calendar, this icon right here. And all I did here was add the date. This is my reference calendar, so I can continue dating the other spreads in the planner, or if I want to jump from one page to another, or whenever I need to look at dates to start planning, I go back to this page. Everything here is linked, so all of these boxes link to a blank daily page. And let me go back to my year. You can also navigate to the weeks. So it's a very handy page to have to go from one day to another or to switch between weeks or months. You will also have your quarters linked up here as well as the original buttons which are located here on any page in the planner. So I'm gonna go to my first quarter. Again, I tap there or I could have also tapped on this button here. So what I've done so far here is add the dates of each of the months and a few things that need to happen during that month. This is a very handy view where you can focus on things that need to be done in three months. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some of my monthly pages. I started using it in July. You get two calendars with this planner per month. So I have my first calendar and then actually you have some hidden links here. So next to the label of the month, if you tap there, that will bring you to the second calendar. But this is located right after the first calendar, so you can either navigate using this link whenever you're located somewhere else in the planner, or you can just scroll once you are located here because they're right next to each other. My first calendar here is pretty simple. I just added some basic things that needed to be done during this month, but then I had an unexpected trip this same month. So my second calendar is where I try to organize everything because I was traveling as well as my husband, as well as my parents, 
and I needed to organize everything because my kids needed to be taken care of by a family member, but we were all traveling. So here is what I did with that second calendar. It was very useful to have the bigger view to really look at the dates and be able to move things around without any distractions. And that's why having two separate calendars can be really helpful so you can separate activities and things that are not really related to each other. Now, you will get three blank sections per month and I want to show you how I used mine for this month. So the first one says finances and I tapped there and actually I didn't use it, but I did add this insert. Again, you will get access to these once you order the planner. So I just added my little insert here and you can also access those three sections per month by tapping on these buttons. So let's go to the second section. Here I kept the information related to summer camp for my children. And this was important because somebody else was taking my kids to these classes. Okay, the following section. So this is a month where I didn't really have a lot of chance to plan because I was traveling the whole time, but I do wanna keep this system for the following month. So again, this is another idea. You can just add your meal planner insert to this page and I'll show you the following month how I do mine and you get a fourth section that is actually hidden and that is a secret link that is before the monthly label so if you tap here that will open another blank section and I took advantage of this page to keep a record of my whole trip that I had, which was a pretty big one. I went to multiple countries and I really love doing this. I think I'm gonna continue to do this for every month because I really like going back here, looking at the photos and remembering all of the things that I did. These are just some examples of how I personally have been using the Princeton Organizer Split Planner in the Neutrals design. Remember, there are multiple different designs. You can choose the one that works best for your style. I hope you found this video useful and you got some inspiration and some ideas on how you can use your own planner. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. I hope it inspires you. It gives you some ideas on things that you can do yourself. If you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And don't forget to be subscribed and tap on the little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I appreciate you being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.